Hey guys, happy new year. Welcome to Food Picks Kitchen. This is the part 3 of 100 of the best and most exciting breakfasts in the world. In each video we get acquainted with 10 exciting breakfasts. And in this video, we review the ranks 80 to 71. So stay with me until the end of this video. Number 80, Staka Miaga from Greece. Score, 4.2 from 5. Staka Miaga is a simple Cretan dish consisting of poached or fried eggs and local staka that is a type of buttery cream mixed with flour. The combination is usually seasoned with salt and pepper, and it is typically enjoyed warm for breakfast. Eggs with staka are often paired with smoked pork or another traditional Cretan product. Staka is a unique specialty of Cretan cuisine, and it can also be eaten as a spread on slices of bread, as a dip, or as a side dish. Number 79, Misal from India. Score, 4.3 from 5. Misal is a specialty dish of the Indian state of Maharashtra, its name literally translated to a mixture of everything, so the ingredients vary from cook to cook. However, a combination of these ingredients is the most common in a typical masal, curd, pav, moth bean or pea curry, gravy, spiced potatoes, and garnishings such as onions, coriander, and tomatoes. It is mandatory for a true masal to be spicy, while the base needs to be crunchy. Visually, it should look like a work of art, with lots of colors typically red, brown, orange, and green. Since it is highly nutritious, easy to prepare, and relatively inexpensive, it remains one of the most popular meals in India. Number 78, Pastas from Malta. Score, 4.3 from 5. Pastas is Malta's national snack, a flaky pastry filled with ingredients such as peas, ricotta, anchovies, corned beef, or apples. The thin dough is stretched and rolled with layers of fat in between, which is used to achieve the typical flaky texture of the finished product. The dough is then filled with any of the aforementioned ingredients, shaped into diamonds or semicircles, then baked until golden brown. Pastizi can be consumed as a snack or served as appetizers in bars. Number 77, Hauska from Czech Republic. Score, 4.2 from 5. Hauska is a popular Czech bread roll, simple and small in size. It is made with plain wheat flour, water, yeast, salt, and, occasionally, eggs. Before baking, it is usually braided and shaped into a plump circular form resembling a knot. The top is sprinkled with coarse sea salt and either caraway or poppy seeds. Baked Hauska is light in color, it has a crispy exterior and a light, soft center. The roll can be bought in most Czech supermarkets and bakeries. It is often consumed for breakfast when it is served alongside a variety of sweet and savory spreads, butter, or marmalade. The name Hauska might also refer to another type of bread that is sweet, rich, and filled with raisins, candied fruit, and almonds, typically served for Christmas and Easter. It is more similar to hala or brioche and was originally named Vananajka. Number 76, Amaletta from Greece. Score, 4.2 from 5. Although both dishes have a similar name, Greek amaletta is nothing like the French omelette, but is instead more like a frittata. The dish consists of fried potatoes, eggs, and vegetables such as bell peppers. The combination of these ingredients is baked on both sides until the dish is ready for consumption. It is recommended to serve amaletta with sausages, lemon wedges, and a salad on the side. Number 75, Chouquet from France. Score, 4.2 from 5. When we talk about cooking, a Frenchman is always involved. Amazingly tender and extremely light, chouquettes are airy pot au choux pastry puffs studded with the so-called sucre pearl, coarse sugar crystals which hold both their shape and crunch when baked. Chouquettes are basically profiterole shells and fall into the category of viennoiseries or, more precisely, patisseries viennoise. These Viennese-style baked goods are found in bakery shops throughout the country and are traditionally consumed for breakfast or as an afternoon snack known as lookouter. Best enjoyed freshly baked while they're still perfectly puffed, golden, and crisp, chouquettes make for a great accompaniment to a nice cup of coffee or tea. 
Number 74, Jibanica from Serbia. Score, 4.2 from 5. Although it is a common sight in countries such as Croatia, Slovenia, and Macedonia, Jibanica is mainly associated with Serbia. It is a traditional pie-like dish that combines filo dough with a creamy combination of cheese and eggs. The most popular version of this versatile pie is popularly known as gazvara, meaning crumple, in which the sheets of filo dough are soaked in a creamy mixture of fresh cow's cheese and eggs. The sheets are then layered and baked in the form of a casserole. This pie-like dish can be prepared in both sweet and savory versions, depending on the region and personal preferences. In Serbia, jibanica is usually paired with yogurt and makes a perfect breakfast staple or a filling snack. Served sliced, it is also a mainstay on every festive occasion when it is traditionally enjoyed as a cold appetizer. Number 73, Buknica from Croatia. Score, 4.2 from 5. Buknica is a comforting Croatian rolled pastry or strudel made with layers of thin dough that is filled with a combination of grated pumpkin, salt, fresh cheese, butter, sour cream, and eggs. The savory rolled pastry is baked in an oven until it develops a golden brown color on the exterior, and it is recommended to serve it warm with a dollop of sour cream. Buknica should always be well-baked and crispy, otherwise the filling will release the water and the pastry will lose its crispiness. It's especially popular in the summer as there is an abundance of young pumpkins which are ideal for the filling. Number 72, Gado Gado from Indonesia. Score, 4.2 from 5. Gado Gado is an Indonesian version of a mixed salad. It usually consists of a variety of vegetables, eggs, tempeh, and tofu. The vegetables are usually just slightly boiled, tossed with a nutty sauce, then completed with the addition of crispy prawn crackers. The sauce was traditionally made with cashews, but due to lower price and availability, peanuts are more frequent today. The dish is a true representative of Indonesian street food, and it has been present in the Indonesian culture since the 16th century. It originated among the native people of Jakarta, but today it can be found in all parts of Indonesia. Gado gado can be a whole dish on its own, but it can also be boosted by the addition of rice, rice crackers, or chicken. This classic Indonesian street food is usually sold by street vendors or at hawker centers, and it can be served for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Number 71, Tamagoyki from Japan. Score, 4.2 from 5. We finally got to the last breakfast of this part. Tamagoyki is a Japanese omelette dish made by using a unique cooking method the eggs are folded into themselves until they are fully cooked. Although the omelette has no fillings, it is usually seasoned with sugar, mirin, and soy sauce. Tamagoyki can often be found in bento boxes, and it is traditionally served either for breakfast or as a sushi topping. The name of the dish can be literally translated to eggs cooked over dry heat. The simple tamagoyki first became popular in the 1950s, when the government started to encourage parents to give more protein to their children, and the farmers started to keep more chickens. Today, tamagoyki can also be found in numerous shopping malls or in soba restaurants. Thank you for staying with me until the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe and click the bell button so you don't miss the next videos. I'll see you soon in the next video. I will be back soon with the next video of the best breakfasts in the world.